Um, there is no bridge actually in the system. It's a mere posting mm -hmm. of your personal details. Lahat naman ng social media platform ngayon, meron lang notification. So, nafa-follow ka talaga. Kaya, be very careful with what you post po. May mga, na, mga nag-e-email, nagte-text sa akin na ang worry nila, if they order online, they have to give either their credit card number or they have to give their address, etc. Um, are there situations you know of that na violate yung security or identity theft issue? Uh, case? Um, if you look at these uh, cases, you know, uh, this is a targeted identity theft and not mm -hmm. a breach of the system. So, yes, yes. manual po to, physical, so data mining through yun na nga, mga social media platforms. So, it is not in any way a breach of the system uh, in GLOBE. What about on GLOBE's part? How quickly will you be able to roll out all those uh, new uh, solutions that you just mentioned, you know, 24 to 4 hour, 48 hour cooling period, the photo uh, uh, capture okay. and uh, biometrics. Okay, the 24 to 48 hours na cooling period, we're doing it effectively now um, for the mask down and photo capture uh, it will be launched within the month medyo long shot lang din tong biometrics because there will be a lot of talks hindi lang naman kasi ito sa globe and there this will also entail capex you know? but what we're trying to do is to really work doubly hard para mapabilis itong mga solutions na to to protect our customers. I cannot just give definitive dates on the biometrics, but for the two solutions, um, working na yung isa, and then this month naman yung mask down policy. Okay, now, uh, Art, as far as uh, other solutions are concerned, because you mentioned the one that happened in Mozambique, ano pa yung mga na-discover na mo na solutions that could be very helpful in preventing? Because, yes, uh, this week I have, for the last three days, been receiving a Viber message from, from someone. Yung kanila namang mga email ang na-intercept. And yung ma, barang yung bang order, uh, interna, international ordering system, bas na intercept pati email, sabi walang nga si to, hindi lang pala telepono ang uh, hinahak ngayon, pati email namin. Art. Ay, yun pala, uh, merong ano, merong kaming nakita na uh, massive uh, phishing campaign using uh, spoof email. Spoof, ibig sabihin, kinopia yung mga email ng Department of Health, uh, Customs, uh, mga embassies. So kaya mag-iingat sa pagtanggap ng mga email, always check kung saan galing talaga yung email. So uh, uh, isa, pang, isa pang pwede pala nating uh, uh, gami gawin sa para masolve yung uh, problem na to, uh, ginawa ng iba, chinect talaga nila yung, ginawa ng ibang bansa, chinect talaga na yung mga processes nila. Ano yung mga, ano yung mga dapat gawin at hindi dapat gawin. May nangyaring 5,000 uh, SIM swap fraud nangyari sa Brazil kasi na na bribe yung mga employee nung nung telco so isa yun mm -hmm. sa mga problema na dapat ayusin din natin yung mga process at biometrics ang magiging problema sa implementation nito kasi nga we're trying to to ask our uh, farmers na na maging maging active na sa mga sa mga ganito and they're doing it yung mga digital transaction nila via SMS kasi mga uh, entry level phone ang gamit nila yeah. Paano natin paano natin may implemento ngayon? Mahirapan tayo na implement sa mga uh, yung nasa lower level ng uh, yung mga entry level phones ang ginagamit nila sa mga banking transaction. We're in we're in, we're we're, uh, we're trying to let them go into digital na sa mga banking, online payment. Mm. Pero yun nga uh, entry level phones gamit nila. So uh, hindi natin agad agad ma masosolve yung a problem by biometrics.